The Young and the Restless, a TV series that started in 1973, has been a staple in many homes for decades. It's a show full of drama, love, and twists that keep viewers glued to their screens. From funny moments that make you laugh to shocking turns that leave you gasping, and sad scenes that might just make you tear up, this show has it all. Now, let's talk about the stars of the show. There have been many talented actors over the years, but one classic Hollywood actor who stood out is Eric Breeden. Known for his role as Victor Newman, he brought a powerful presence to the screen that many fans loved. As for a personal memory, many viewers recall gathering with family to watch the episodes, making it more than just a show, but a shared experience. What about you? Do you have a memory tied to the young and the restless that brings a smile to your face or tugs at your heartstrings? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Your experiences add to the rich tapestry that this show has created over the years. So keep watching and let's keep the conversation going. Who knows what surprising facts we'll uncover next. The Young and the Restless has been a staple of daytime television, capturing the hearts of viewers for decades. Its strength lies in its relatable storylines and characters that resonate with everyday life, making it more than just a soap opera. The show has evolved, infusing humor and realistic dialogue that reflects what viewers might encounter in their own lives. The portrayal of love stories like that of Lola and Keo, though not always meeting everyone's expectations, represents the diverse narratives that the show attempts to explore. The cast, including Michelle Stafford as Phyllis Summers, brings depth to the characters, making them memorable. While some storylines, such as those involving Abby, Chance, and Devon, may not appeal to all, they contribute to the rich tapestry of the show's narrative. The show's ability to engage a multi-generational audience, from those who have watched since its inception to newer viewers, is a testament to its enduring appeal. The desire for episodes to be available on DVD reflects the show's impact and the connection viewers have with its history. Despite differing opinions on casting, such as the role of Phyllis, the show continues to be a beloved part of many viewers' daily routine. In the backdrop of a fictional Wisconsin town, the lives of several families intertwine in dramatic fashion. Tanya Williams, known for her role as Dr. Olivia Barber Winters, has a notable family background. Her father served as a Chief Justice at the United Nations Tribunals addressing war crimes in Rwanda. The show often employs a narrative technique where young characters are sent off screen, only to return later significantly aged. This has been the case for characters like Victoria Newman, Nick Newman, Billy Abbott, Lily Winters, Noah Newman, and Abby Newman Abbott, who reappear as teenagers after brief absences. In another connection to reality, Jean Cooper, who portrayed Catherine Chancellor, faced personal loss when her former husband Harry Bernson passed away in 2008. These elements contribute to the ongoing saga that has captivated audiences for decades. A memorable tune often sets the stage for a show's identity, and in this case, Nadia's theme serves that purpose, originally known as Cotton's Dream from the film Bless the Beasts and Children. The series not only made a mark with its music, but also through the achievements of its cast. Tanya Williams, for instance, was honored with the Women in Film and Television Toronto Crystal Award in 2017, recognizing her significant contributions. Another notable figure, Jean Cooper, was celebrated with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for Television, a testament to his work, located at 1777 Vine Street in Hollywood, California, awarded on August 20, 1993. In the mid-1970s, a popular daytime drama had its theme song unexpectedly linked to an Olympic star. While the gymnast never performed her routines to this melody, the association was so strong that the composer renamed the song in her honor. Around the same time, the show faced a personal loss when a cast member's brother, who shared her profession in the oil industry, passed away. Decades later, the production faced an unprecedented challenge due to a global health crisis, halting new episodes and prompting a temporary shift to classic reruns. The pause in filming lasted several months, after which the eagerly awaited new content made its return to the screen. Recognition in the entertainment industry is a significant achievement, reflecting years of dedication and talent. Eric Breeden, known for his role in a long-running series, received this honor with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 27, witnessed by his fellow cast members. Jean Cooper's passion for acting sparked early, with a school play marking the beginning of her journey, leading her to leave behind her original first name. 
Eileen Davidson set a unique record by portraying five distinct roles simultaneously on a well-known daytime show, earning her critical acclaim and an Emmy nomination. These milestones not only highlight individual accomplishments, but also underscore the enduring appeal and complexity of the characters they brought to life on screen. Celebrating half a century, a beloved daytime drama honored its fans with a unique contest, offering a winner and their chosen companion an exclusive trip to a grand celebration event. This prize included a VIP tour of the familiar sets that have become like a second home to viewers, capped off with a luxurious two-night island getaway. Among the cast, Tanya Williams stands out as a character who finds solace in the quieter moments, away from the spotlight. Meanwhile, Gene Cooper, a trailblazer in the genre, holds the distinction of being one of the first to grace nearly every talk show format, sharing her craft with a wider audience. In a twist of fiction meeting reality, the arrival of Michael Damien as Danny Romilotti brought a new storyline where Kay Chancellor funded Danny's music video, a plot separate from the actress Jean Cooper's personal knowledge of rock music. Jean Cooper, a graduate of Pasadena Playhouse in theater arts and history, portrayed her character's struggles with alcohol on screen, mirroring her own real-life challenges with the addiction. This layering of actor and character experiences added depth to the show's portrayal of personal battles. In the world of daytime drama, connections between characters and actors often mirror real-life relationships. Eileen Davidson, known for her role in this long-running series, is the stepmother to Duke and Vince Van Patten, bringing a touch of her on-screen world into her personal life. Tanya Williams, another familiar face, brings an air of sophistication from her educational background at prestigious institutions like Greenmore College and York House in Birmingham, England. Adding to the show's appeal, Jean Cooper, who portrayed the formidable Catherine Chancellor, was admired by many, including Oprah Winfrey, who openly expressed her enjoyment of the series and her fondness for Cooper's character. Eileen Davidson's journey into acting began with her modeling career in Mexico City and California, leading to commercial and print work across Europe. Jean Cooper, known for her role in the same series, once shared a personal connection with James Best, who later became the father-in-law of her co-star Michael Damien. Tracy E. Bregman made a unique change to her name by adding an E, a suggestion from an astrologist that preceded her casting as Lauren in the show just a month later. Jean Cooper, known for her role in a long-running show, was not only an actress, but also part of a family connected to the entertainment industry, being the mother-in-law to Amanda Pays. Her roots were grounded in education, with her own mother having been a qualified teacher who specialized in agriculture. Meanwhile, Tanya Williams, another actress from the series, expanded her talents beyond acting to establish Wilbo Entertainment, a production company with bases in both Toronto, Canada, and Los Angeles, USA. Two actors born on the same day found their paths crossing in a drama that captivated audiences. Tracy E. Bregman shared her birthday with Lisa Welchel, each finding fame in their own right. Meanwhile, Jean Cooper celebrated her 80th birthday surrounded by her colleagues and her son, marking a milestone amidst friends and family. Her life, however, took a serious turn when she faced a critical health challenge, battling a severe infection that led to intensive care just weeks before her passing. In 1980, a significant shift occurred when the show expanded to a full hour. This transition necessitated the recasting of several main characters and the gradual replacement of the original core families with new ones due to the actors' contracts being based on a half-hour format. During this period, Gene Cooper's real-life facelift was uniquely woven into the storyline with the actual surgery footage broadcasted as part of her character's narrative. Additionally, Melody Thomas-Scott, known for her role in the series, balances her acting career with her personal life as the mother of three daughters, Elizabeth, Alexandra, and Jennifer. Over the years, viewers have become familiar with the elegant china from which Catherine Chancellor often drinks, known as the heirloom pattern by Royal Albert. This show also holds the distinction of being the first in the United States to broadcast in high-definition television, setting a new standard for daytime programming. In a personal milestone, Eileen Davidson, one of the stars, welcomed a baby boy named Jesse Thomas on May 20, 2003, who weighed in at 8 pounds and 4 ounces. In the landscape of daytime television, certain actors stand out for their personal and professional journeys. Eric Breeden, 
known for his role in a long-running series, is not just an actor, but also a father to Christian Gudegast and an uncle to Scott Crane, marking his influence both on and off the screen. Jean Cooper, another prominent figure from the show, has her roots deeply planted in Taft, California, where she spent her early years. Her life and career are a reflection of her upbringing in the city. Interestingly, Eric Breeden once caught the eye of Cubby Broccoli for the role of James Bond due to his performance in Colossus The Forbin Project. However, the opportunity slipped away when Broccoli preferred a British actor for the iconic role. These stories highlight the diverse paths and near misses that shape an actor's career in the entertainment industry. In the bustling world of daytime drama, Tanya Williams emerged as a notable figure. Born in London, England at Weir Maternity Hospital, she later channeled her creative energy into founding the Real World Film Festival in 2001, where she has been at the helm as executive director. On another front, Melody Thomas Scott, known for her long-standing role, celebrates family milestones as the proud grandmother of twins, James Rawlings Christensen, and Charlotte Scott Christensen, adding a personal touch to her illustrious career. Esteemed baseball player Cal Ripken, known for his legendary career, is an avid follower of the show. Eric Breeden, notable for his acting career, had the unique opportunity to guest star in two different roles within the same week on television, sharing the screen with Lee Majors in both instances. This occurred in October 1973, a rare feat at the time. Additionally, the show expanded its reach with three special primetime broadcasts in the 1990s, each drawing significant attention on their respective air dates. Before it became known by its current name, the show was initially titled The Innocent Years. Reflecting on the cast, Tanya Williams brought a rich background to the series, with her parents hailing from Jamaica. Her mother served as a registered nurse, while her father held the esteemed position of Supreme Court Justice for the British Virgin Islands and St. Kitts. He also contributed to international justice as a judge at the United Nations Tribunal for War Crimes in Rwanda. Tracy E. Bregman, another notable cast member, despite not being the lead in the film Happy Birthday to Me, is featured prominently on the Blu-ray cover, symbolizing her character with the celebratory cake. This image is concealed beneath the more widely recognized cover depicting a shish kebab murder scene from the movie. In a bold move reflecting real life, the show incorporated Jean Cooper's actual facelift into her character's storyline, allowing viewers to follow Catherine's journey through surgery and recovery. This innovative approach kept the actress on screen without the need for temporary replacement. Transitioning from its initial half-hour episodes, the series expanded to a full hour starting with its 1748th episode, marking a new era of storytelling from February 4, 1980. Meanwhile, Melody Thomas Scott, known for her role on the show, brought a rich background in music from her studies at the University of Southern California, adding depth to her on-screen performances. Half a century has passed since the debut of this beloved drama series, marking its golden jubilee with a unique opening sequence for one of its episodes. Eric Breeden, a familiar face to fans, shares a personal connection with Hollywood history through his family ties to Bob Crane and Sigrid Valdes. Meanwhile, Tanya Williams, another talented member of the cast, brings a rich background in music, having dedicated years to mastering the piano and violin from a young age. Over the years, Jean Cooper earned recognition for her role, receiving 10 nominations for Outstanding Lead Actress and winning the honor twice. Despite her character's involvement with rock music on the show, Cooper herself was not familiar with the genre. Meanwhile, Tracy E. Bregman, initially auditioning for another role, impressed the creators so much that they crafted the character of Lauren Fenmore specifically for her, a role she has portrayed for over 30 years. In recognition of his portrayal that resonated with audiences, Eric Breeden received the Federal Medal of Honor from Germany's president, acknowledging his efforts to present Germans in America in a positive light. Eileen Davidson, an author in collaboration with Bob Randesey, is working on her second novel with a contract for two books with Penguin Paperbacks. Her first mystery, Death and Daytime, is set for release in the fall of 2008. Davidson, who first brought Ashley Abbott to life in 1982, became so beloved that upon her departure in 1988, the show continued the character with a look-alike actress Brenda Epperson at her suggestion. Returning to the role after 11 years, Davidson reaffirmed her enduring appeal. 
Despite this, she departed from the series in January 2007 due to storyline decisions, only to reprise her role as Ashley on The Bold and The Beautiful the very day she made her last appearance on the original show. Eileen Davidson, known for her acting career, ventured into fashion with Femiology, a brand she co-founded with her niece, Devin Mark. They successfully launched their spring and summer collections and are currently working on the fall collection for 2008. Jean Cooper, another prominent figure from the show, was a consistent presence, gracing nearly every episode for four decades, with few exceptions due to medical leaves from 1981 to 2011. Additionally, Davidson is connected to Hollywood royalty through marriage, being the daughter-in-law of Dick Van Patten and Pat Poole. In the 1950s, Jean Cooper began her acting career with Universal International. Years later, she would become a familiar face on daytime television. In a sad turn of events, actress Michelle Thomas passed away in 1998, leading to Sienna Goins taking over her role as Callie Rogers Stark. Another notable actress, Tracy E. Bregman, once auditioned for the part of Sammy Joe Dean in the primetime series Dynasty in 1981. These events highlight the dynamic changes and ongoing legacies within the world of television drama. In the 1980s, Jean Cooper joined her former co-star Michael Damien at a fundraiser event in Natchez, Mississippi. Tracy E. Bregman, who was mentored by Cooper starting at the age of 19, shared a close bond with her for three decades. Eric Breeden shared his experiences in an interview featured in Tom Weaver's 28 book, I Talked with a Zombie. Born into a family of three children, Jean Cooper was the youngest offspring of Albert Troy Cooper and Sildeth Evelyn Moore. Her life was marked by the loss of her mother in 1945 and her father in 1986. In her professional circle, she formed a close bond with Anna Lee, who was honored with a Hollywood Walk of Fame star shortly before Cooper received the same accolade. The show faced its own drama off-screen when Christopher Douglas, who played a significant role, was let go in July 2001. This decision stemmed from a clash between the head writer and the executive producer, leading to David Lee Russick taking over the role. A unique connection exists between the cast of this drama series and another show from the 1960s with Eric Breeden and six others sharing screen time on both productions. These actors include Steve Franken, Mark Tapscott, Frank Marth, Michael Evans, Paul Stevens, and Carl Brook. Jean Cooper, known for her role in the series, brought a rich heritage including English, Scottish, Irish, Cherokee, and distant Welsh and French roots. Tracy E. Bregman, despite not being a contracted regular from 2001 to 2013, remained a significant presence in the show's narratives, a rare occurrence for actors without a permanent role. In a unique twist of fate, the character portrayed by Jean Cooper shared her real-life birthday of October 25. Cooper's presence on the show was nearly uninterrupted, with a few exceptions due to health reasons, when friends and fellow actors stepped in. Notably, Beverly Garland in January 1981, Jaisal McKenzie for a brief period in August 1986, and Michael learned during Cooper's medical leave in October 2011. Cooper resumed her role in December that same year. Meanwhile, Eric Breeden, before his prominent role, often played characters significantly older than himself, typically by a decade or more. From a young age, Tanya Williams dedicated herself to the art of ballet, training rigorously for 14 years. Tracy E. Bregman credits her skill in acting to the guidance and mentorship of Jean Cooper, a respected figure in the industry. Cooper herself was praised by Roger Dobkovitz for her authenticity in her craft, contrasting her performance with the more exaggerated styles of her colleagues. In the span of five years, from 2005 to 2010, Tanya Williams played a significant role in shaping the film industry in Toronto through her service on the film board. Meanwhile, Jean Cooper, who grew up in a family where her father worked in the oil fields and her mother took care of the home, found a strong friendship with Raymond Burr and Barbara Hale, relationships that lasted for many years. These connections and experiences among the cast members added depth to their performances on screen. Tanya Williams honed her acting skills at Ryerson University's Theatre School in Toronto, a foundation that would serve her well in her future roles. Jean Cooper, a beloved actress from the show, left a lasting mark with her final appearance occurring just days before her passing at the age of 84. Tracy E. Bregman, another familiar face, balances her acting career with motherhood, raising two sons born in 1991 and 1996.
In the world of daytime drama, connections between characters and actors often extend beyond the screen. Jean Cooper, known for her long-standing role, celebrated her birthday alongside actress Marion Ross, both born in the same year. Melody Thomas Scott, another familiar face from the show, formed a personal bond with makeup artist Carlos Yegi during the early 1980s, leading to the birth of their daughter, Alexandra Danielle Yegi. This bond was further solidified when Alexandra was adopted by Scott's third husband, Edward Scott. Meanwhile, Eric Breeden's portrayal of Victor Newman earned him the nickname The Black Knight Among Fans, reflecting the character's complex persona and significant presence in the series.